<laughs> Yo, what's up guys? It's King Shane Delure here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Mystery Judge of Blue Rescue Team. In the last episode, we went ahead and beated the pre-credit game. As you may know, that means beated Rayquaza. So, in today's episode, we are going to go ahead and start off the post-game. Um, we're going to learn about a few things, and we're also going to take on our first post-game dungeon. So, if you guys enjoy well, if you guys enjoy this playthrough, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe, and we'll hop right into it. Due to Memekip and Blaze's heroic actions, the star, the falling star was destroyed. And peace returned to the world of Pokemon. But that did not put an end to the natural calamities. Natural disasters still occurred, but more less often. Need needless to say, King Nation's at rescue activities continue as if nothing had changed. Several mornings later, I'm still a Mudkip. Yep, I'm still a human. I'm still a Pokemon. Good morning, Mean Kip. Did you just wake up? I went by the Pelipper Post Office earlier. The bulletin board was still covered with rescue jobs. Even though it's peaceful again, many Pokemon still need our help. Mean Kip, let's keep on doing our best as always. Okay, please. Mean Kip! Oh, hi, Caterpie and Metapod. What's the matter? It's Snubble. There's something weird going on. Snubble is weird. Weird how? He looked completely different. Mean Kip, let's go to the square. As you may know, different Pokemon are not bad Pokemon. Hi, Alexam. Hi, Alexam. Have you seen Snubble? I heard something strange happen to him. I'm Snubble. What? Wait, that ugly looking thing is Snubble? You're Snubble? But you don't look anything like the way you did before. I don't really understand either. I went into the cave there and all of a sudden... What cave? It appeared without me noticing. See right there? So you went in there... Yup, and I came out looking like this. Snubble went, underwent evolution. He evolved. Evolution evolved? I don't follow. Pokemon upon satisfying certain, certain emo conditions may evolve. When a Pokemon undergoes evolution, its appearance, appearance changes. Oh wow, you mean you your own appearance change? That can, I mean, oh wow. Your own appearance that can change? I suspect that the cave is where evolution can take place. This is this is merely a guess. Perhaps evolution could not take place before because the world's balance was askew. However, now that the star the, the star has been destroyed, the world's balance has been restored, and perhaps that the cave became unsealed. So if I evolve, I would become like Metapod. I wish I would. I want to be butter butterfree quickly. Wait a second. I don't know if I like this or not. My cute little face turns all craggy. Craggy? Evolution is not bad. I'm not a bad thing. Appearance isn't the only thing that changes through evolution. One's power and abilities may be may be enhanced. For example. Oh really? I might be stronger. That makes me want to evolve even more. I wish I could be Butterfree soon. Me too. Can we evolve if we go to that cave? Yes. But it would depend on the conditions. Meme Kip, let's go to the cave if, if you were ready to evolve. But right now... We're gonna learn about something interesting. Wait, let's check if we, uh... Let's deposit these plain seeds. I don't know if we uh need them. Cause oh, I hope today's episode goes good. Today we're just gonna do Stormy Sea. 
Uh, do you have any reviver seeds? Please tell me I have reviver seeds. Please tell me I have reviver seeds. <gasps> Three reviver seeds. I'll take them. I'll take all of your reviver seeds. Yes, I'll take all of your reviver seeds. I'll murder Kyogre. Wait, let's learn this tactic before we talk to Metacham. Oh yeah, meme kit, wait a second. There's something I wanted to talk over with you before we go to a dungeon. You know how we always go to go to dungeons together, meme kit? But I think we'll be seeing all sorts of different dungeons from now on. I think some of them will be tough even for us. So I have an idea. Instead of instead of instead of us running things all the time, we should let the team as a whole do it. Okay. How about we change things so we could pick the leader and members to go into dungeons? That might mean we won't be going on rescues to certain dungeons. But that will let us handle rescues better but by having more Pokemon types available. Do you like the idea? Meme Pip, do you think it'd be good to s be able to to freely choose le choose leaders? I mean, sure. Yep, that's right. I thought you'd agree, Meme Pip. Okay, new rule. We can now freely pick the Pokemon that are going into dungeons. I think this I think this is how we should pick the leader of a team going into a dungeon. In its friend area, face the team member you want as the leader, then select Make Leader on the menu. That will make the Pokemon the team leader. We should do that before every dungeon. One more thing. We should make it so a team leader can go into a dungeon alone if it wants. Anyway, to choose the leader of a dungeon be bound team in a friend area, use Make Leader. We should always choose the team leader in its friend area before sending the team to any dungeon. Okay, but right now I'm going to put you on standby, please. And we're going to go to Stormy Sea. But first we're going to talk to Metacham. <laughs> that Mombra, he amuses me so. <laughs> oh, long time no see. You are well. You see, I have heard about Lombre's tail. It is too funny. I have heard that Lombre almost drowned at sea. But that Lombre, he lives in water. How very pathetic. How rude, Menchamp. How do you feel? You can't even swim. Huh? What's that? Oh, you mean what happened at sea? I was a drowning sheesh. They're making up stories about me. Want to know what really happened? See, I went I went out to the sea to frolic a while back. You know, I was trying that dive thing. So I was having fun going underwater. And I got washed out to sea a bit. All of a sudden these wicked clouds rolled in. And before I knew it, there was a full blown storm raging. There's more. A dungeon appeared in the sea. I was shocked wildness and I got out of there fast. But who'd have guessed it? A dungeon in a stormy sea? Huh? You want to know more about that dungeon in the sea? I've bamooshed it out of there, so I can't tell you much. I know. Maybe Wishcash would know something. Yeah, that'd be best. Go talk to Wishcash. Yes, let's go talk to Mr. Wishcash. We're gonna do this dungeon. Ah, so you wish to know about the dungeon in the sea. I too have heard of it. I have heard of a place that is far off our coast. It is a sea churned by torrential, torrential storms and violent waves. It is a place appropriately named the Stormy Sea. There one will find a dungeon that leads to the bottom of the sea. The sea is infinitely dark and is, its depths are unimaginable. That is what I have heard. Oh, you look eager to go. However, to go beneath the sea, 
a hidden machine named Dive is needed. Without Dive, you cannot go to the stormy sea. Oh, your face tells me you are desperate to go. So be it. You may have this. I understand that it is a very rare item that was found in a place called the Solar Cave. If you were to carry the item as an, I mean, TM as an item, or if any team member wishing to enter the dungeon use that hidden machine to learn dive, you would be able to enter the stormy sea. Okay, but first we're going to evolve because that dungeon is insane. Uh, yes, let's evolve. Yes, we are evolved. Now we're gonna learn dive. So now we know dive, we're gonna go to the stormy sea. And yes, it's a 44 dungeon, so it'll probably take us this whole episode. So, let's do it. The Stormy Sea. Nice. Second floor. Ah, you missed. Daba, this is a pretty interesting dungeon. Stormy Sea. Oh, look at that wing call. Ah, you missed me. Goodbye. Four, we're doing good. Nice. We'll pick that up. Nice. Six four. Seventh floor, we're doing good. Oh wow, we're ra we're running into a lot of stairs. You know, we'll take you on. Ninth floor, wow. Wow, we're doing really good. Ten four, we're doing good. Uh, how's everyone's weekend was? How's everyone's weekend? Like, how's everyone's weekend going? I mean, how's everyone's weekend? Eleventh four, wow. But how's everyone's weekend? What did you guys do this weekend? Let me know now. Comments. Oh, hi, Slowpoke. See ya. <laughs> I love dive. It's a great move. Because you could say, Now you see me. Now you don't. Oh, great. This is bad. You know, I'm going to use a blowback orb on you. Thirteen four. 
Ooh, yes. Escape orb, we need that. If things get too chaotic, we'll escape. But we should be good. Wow. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Ugh. So I think we're just gonna do this dungeon today and then we're gonna grind off screen. So maybe we'll evolve off screen or we'll evolve on screen. Oh, that did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage. Now we're getting deeper. 17th floor. Wait, who's that? You know, what? we'll take him on. Let's take you on. Wanna go? Nice. 19th floor. Two Pokemon. Let's face you. Ah, now you see me? Now you don't. Nice, we took him out. Bana bana. Twenty one four. Nice. <gasps> Grimer's trapped. Grimer's trapped. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's go on with Star Wars. Do this. Ha <laughs> ha. You suck, Homestar. Yeah. We are doing really good. Twenty-three four. Nice. We took him out. So far, so good. Let's do this. Twenty fourth floor. What? What? Can I please? Seriously? Oh, we died.
Really? You're missing mud slaps. We're gonna tackle you then. I'm gonna tackle you for that. Okay, sorry you guys. We're gonna dive. Take that, man. Where are the stairs? Nice. Twenty fifth floor. Far so good. Nice. What? Okay, you better not miss again. Now right, we're going to use dive. Twenty eighth floor now. Holy God, that absorbed did a lot of damage. Okay, we got to use dive. We're gonna dive again. Ah, uh, we're almost to the end of this dungeon, I feel it. Are you serious? What is with this? We're gonna dive on you. Kabuta. If we have to re Okay, we're doing pretty good. Relax. Relax. You don't need to absorb my health like that, man. Okay, we load up. Thirty-one four. Thirty-second floor. Thirty-third floor. We're actually finding stairs quickly. Mm. 
Okay. Want to go, Cedra? Take that. Whoa, who attacked me? Come here. Want to fight? Nice. We took him out. That bubble beam did a lot of damage. Okay, we're doing good. Take that, Celio. This dungeon's no joke, it's actually really hard. Like, I'm serious, it's actually really hard. Take that, man. Take that, you stupid star me. Oh, you want to go? Oh, there's another Pokemon in this room. We'll dive. Thirty-eight four. No, nope, wait, 36 floor, I meant. Sorry for the, uh, for the mess up right there, you guys. Oh, so we're forced into, a uh, dive? Wanna go tentacruel? Take that man. So far so good. We'll dive again. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Oh, you want to go? Let's go, Cedra. Let's do this. Oh, you want to go next? Okay. Take that tent to crawl. Three, nine, four. We only have one more four. Okay, we're at full health. Let's continue. Okay, we did it. My power is bursting. My infinity power. My duels against Groudon left us both exhausted. I took to a long and deep sleep. A deep sleep? You mean underwater? 
All the time I waited, waited for my power to recover. And now, I am on the verge of regaining my power. I am Kyogre, the Lord of the Sea. When it is struck, destructive force of my waves. Marvel at my awesome power. Okay, Kyogre. Let's do this. If he gets a boost, wait, we're gonna put him to sleep. Oh, really? Really? That's like three times now. Okay, that's one hit. That's one hit. If he gets a boost, we lose. Oh. Do you think we could recruit him? He's not really doing that much. Okay, we defeated him. Well, I think we're going to go. I think this is a good time to wrap up today's episode. Anyways, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. And also, before we end things, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to do some grinding off screen. So we're prepared for so we're prepared for these dungeons. But that's what we're going to do. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment if you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys all next time.